win for them. Yeah, let's Pick give one. them credit. I yeah. mean, they won four credit. straight for the first time since 2013, LT. Yeah. Are you buying? I am buying it just because I love the balance that they now have on offense. You know, you, you get rid of Adrian Peterson, and now Mark Ingram has emerged like he did last year. He's playing with a lot more confidence, but I like the balance of this football team. Drew Brees, we know they can win it off Drew Brees' right arm. Uh, that's a given. But when you make it more balanced, you help your defense out. And I think that's why they are more opportunistic type of defense because they now can create some turnovers. Let me give you something to support your balance. Week one and two, they were on two. Points per game, 31st. Total yards per game, last. That's defensively. Since week three, they're 4-0. and oh, Tied for third, fourth yard per game. Second, passing yards. These guys are flat-out balling, yeah. man. So they've turned it around. We have never associated defense when we talk about the New Orleans Saints. That's been their Achilles heel. But it seems like they're solving that problem. And plus, they could run the ball. They could run the ball really well when they dedicate themselves mm -hmm. to it. I, I would say is they're extraordinary. the least, least dysfunctional team in this division. And, and that's why that's they have so, a is chance. Is that true? Point, yeah. Tampa Bay's falling and they can't get up. They won't, don't want to get up. Cam, I don't know what's going on with Cam. We try, Cam, we're trying to help you, dog. You got to help us help you. Okay? We'll, we'll get to that in a little bit. Yeah, we're going to get to that in a minute. But you know and what? And then Atlanta doing the what they did tonight. So this team is right there, man. They got a shot. Yeah, but we seem to, like, whatever we said three weeks ago doesn't always hold water three weeks right. later. So, That's like, true. why would we buy the Saints now? Is there something that makes you want to say? Hey, we, man, we ain't going to buy them now. We're going to put them on layaway. We may get them out <laughs> well, this and a little bit later. <laughs> All y'all 35 and over, you should know what layaway is, all right? <laughs> we ain't going to buy them. We're going to put them on layaway. Yeah. All right, team. real quickly, let's give it to you in 45 seconds. The Packers. In 10 games without Aaron Rodgers since 2013, they are 2 7 and 1. Should I run and go get that big fork? Oh, the Green Bay Packers? Yes. Oh, that's over. Man, I told you last told week you that was over. That is stutter over. or stumble. This well, you, is but over. we wanted to see Brett Hunt. We well, wanted why? to give him a chance to prepare. Why? Okay. okay. When you, when you see somebody like Aaron Rodgers, whoever replaces him is set up for failure, man. It's, it's, it's not going to happen. There's no way he can live up to the expectations okay. that the Green Bay – the Green Bay Packers had expectations of Super Bowl or bust, right? Yes. So if you don't go to the Super Bowl, it's a bust. They ain't going to no Super Bowl. And without Aaron <laughs> Rodgers, this is, a, this is not a good team. Not I mean, let's just be honest. The offensive is it line possible is not... that they finish last in the division? They got a good shot oh, now. Now, ooh. the Chicago Bears ooh, are there good, now. Yeah, Chicago, Chicago – Mitchell is playing good football. Jordan Howard. Well, Mitch, let's Maybe. be honest. Mitchell Trubisky completed four I mean, passes on Sunday. Hey, hey, he he's playing better than Brett Hundley. <laughs> no, you, you got a point there. All right.